Okay, hello. Um, good evening. Uh, right now, I'm waiting for participants to join the, the, the session. And well, it's two minutes before the session starts. So I'm going to wait for them to join in. And after that, I'm going to show, well, to present the class and all the things that I have to do. In the meantime, I'm going to check if everything is working well. Yes, Mike, I am recording camera. I'm not projecting anything. I have my documents that I am going to use ready to start my, I prepared a PowerPoint presentation and also I have the attendance in the drive ready to pass that first attendance. I pass attendance uh, after the beginning of the class. And I also have the PDF of the book ready because sometimes I show some things because other times I use, uh, I take like a screenshot of the, of the book and I put them into the, the PowerPoint presentations. So that way is more practical. I always say that to my students, that is more practical. Okay, right now it's 8 p.m. Let's hope that they join right now. Right now it's only me, but they are going to be here soon. Welcome, Darwin. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you today, mister? Uh, good day. Nice. I'm, I'm read some one verse of the, the Biblia. Bible. Bible. Uh -huh. or Bible. Aha, uh -huh. can you can you read them for the, for me? In the beginning, God create the heavens and the earth. <laughs> That's an easy one, right? It's the Genesis one one. Yes. Genesis, right? Genesis. Yes, Genesis. I think that's the right pronunciation for Genesis. Genesis, yes, yes, I think so. But if not, uh, uh, look it up in, in Google, okay? I'm not sure if that is the, the correct pronunciation, but I think it is. Uh, Mister, uh, can you see me? Um, me puede ver bien, o sea, no se ve entrecortado o algo extraño, es que, I know, but I think I'm having, I'm having some problems with my internet. It's like, it's uh, laggy. Okay, okay, I'm using the lag like. cable. Okay. Se ve, se ve y se escucha bien. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's wait for your classmates. Okay, there we go. Mayra is joining. Ophelia is also joining. Uh, Welcome, Mayra and Ophelia. Hello, teacher. Hello, Ophelia. How are you? Fine, thank you, teacher. Nice. Mayra, welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, welcome. 
okay, we're going to wait for more students. Actually, we had one more minute and then I'm going to, to take the first attendance, all right? Okay, more students are, are joining. That's good. Welcome, Maria Stella. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Miss. How are you? Hey, I am tired. You're tired of working, right? Yes. This, um, this day, this day, uh, hmm? I I driving. I am driving. Ah, you are driving. Yeah. Okay. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome, Flor. Okay, people, I am going to take the first attendance, even though we had only five students, but remember that punctuality is important. Hey, okay. Darwin. Present. Uh, Delmis, Dubin, Fátima Rosario, Fidel Coreas Pascual, Flor de María, Present, Irving José Ramírez, José Adán, Juan Ernesto Tuar. Karina Beatriz Santos, María Estela, present, Carla Verónica, eh, María Vanessa, Mayra, present, Nelson Alfredo, Nelson Edgardo, Ophelia, Kitriche, Raquel Betsabe, Tatiana, and Walter. Okay. All right. All right, people, welcome to another session. This is uh, our first day of the third week right okay and today we are going to keep talking about the wh questions okay we haven't talked about them like in specific and for this i have here something that i need you to watch Okay, before starting with the um, talking about today's topic, there is something that we need to do. Okay, as you can see, today's topic, when's the meeting? When's the meeting? And we are going to talk about WH words, right? Sorry. And as you can see, we are going to start with wait. Okay, this is the first slide, okay? We are going to have a reading practice, okay? We are going to read a little bit, okay? We don't do it much, but we are going to do it today. And for this, we are going to work in pairs, okay? But first, we are going to read the first part of the article, okay? Now, this is an article that is in your books, okay, in your manuals, and it is on page, oops, I creo que escribí mal ahí. Okay, it's 30, 
34, ok. Ahí me sale. Mira, 34. Este. 34. Es que creo que sin querer borré el, el, el otro y puse ese. Ok, page 34. Ok, mm -hmm. we are going to read this one for the whole group. And the rest of the article, we are going to read it in the breakup rooms, ok. So, I am going to have one of you read this. As you can see, you are going to read the article to keep employees happy. That is the article, okay? And you are going to discuss if the sentences of the next exercise are true or false. And if they are false, you are going to correct them. Okay? You are going to make the right corrections to make them. Okay, and we are going to start with number one, that is organize a yoga class. Okay, remember that this article is about activities to keep employees happy. Okay. Now let's start, let's see. Um, Vanessa Segura, can you please read it for the rest of the class? Okay. Organize yoga classes. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't underestimate mm -hmm. the impact yoga could have on their attitude and outlook. Mm -hmm. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function, and lift mood. What boss wouldn't one does up at comes sorry okay don't worry okay <laughs> people any word that you want to um, well you don't know what's the meaning of that word Lead mood 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 is like like a, el es, es un estado de ánimo verdad o sea the, my mood can be bad or my mood can be good okay Okay. Yes. Anybody else? For example, underestimate. Subestimate. Uh huh. Yes. Underestimate. That's how you pronounce it. Um. I don't know. I think only that. Outcomes, do you know what are outcomes? Outcomes are results, okay? Yes, results. Okay, very good. Now, okay, this is the first part of the reading, okay? Para los que se acaban de conectar, ¿verdad? We are going to do a reading practice, okay? This article is in your manual, okay? This is only one part of that article. The rest of this article is in your manual. And what you have to do is that you are going to go to the breakup rooms in pairs, okay? And you are going to read this for your class. O sea, lo van, se lo van a turnar para leerlo, ¿verdad? para practicar un poquito la lectura. Traten de leerlo ¿verdad? lo más corrido que se pueda. ¿Verdad? Sí. Para que no se le vaya a escuchar así como, 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 como muy pausado, ¿ok? ¿Verdad? Obviamente, si hay coma, pues sí vamos a hacer pausa, ¿verdad? Teacher, can yes. you read? Sorry? Can you read? Do you want me to read it? Yeah. Ok. Number one, organize yoga classes. Uh, if you work in an office and your employees are sitting at computers every day, don't or underestimate the impact of yoga classes. Uh, ah, sorry. The impact yoga could have on their attitude, attitude and outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress, calm the mind, uh, release tension, uh, improve brain function, and lift mood. Okay. What boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Eh, la última pregunta, verdad, es 
es un poquito compleja, ¿verdad? Porque lleva un verbo especial, ¿ok? Que se bueno. llama eh, verbo modal, pero esto significa, mire, ¿qué jefe no bueno. querría esos resultados? Bueno. Este, este verbo bueno. especial le da esa, 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 ¿cómo se le llama? Bueno. Esa terminación, ¿verdad? Los verbos, querría, ¿ok? ¿Qué jefe no querría, verdad, estos resultados? Vale, ok. I want you to go to the breakout rooms. You are going to work in pairs, ok? And you are going to read, ok? This is the activity. Reading. You are going to read, ok? You are going to read this for your classmates. Tomen turnos, verdad? Y si sienten que aún no lo leen de corrido, verdad? Quiero que lo sigan intentando, ok? Aunque se demoren un, un poquitito más de lo esperado porque el objetivo is that you read more fluently, okay? Welcome to the students that just joined, okay? We are going to do an activity in the breakout rooms. You are going to work on page 34, okay? On page 34, it is the, the, um, the reading in the article that you are going to read. Let me show you. Okay, I guess that right now you can see my, my screen, but this is the book, right? Can you see my manual? Yes, teacher. Okay, this is the activity that you are going to do right now, okay? You are going to read this, okay? This article for your classmates. There are four activities, okay? For helping employees to be happy in the workplace, okay? These are like suggestions. La verdad, nunca, nunca he visto, ¿verdad? tal vez, o sea, algún jefe que haga algún tipo de actividad ¿verdad? en los trabajos que he estado, pero sería, it would be a good idea. Let me go, let me make the groups. Stop sharing my screen. Ok. okay ¿Alguien ha entendido lo que, se, lo que se va a hacer? Solo la parte uno. No, todo. All. Mm. Eh, yes. Me gustaría ver la pronunciación de otras cosas. Ok, no problem. Bueno, yo voy a estar entrando, ¿verdad? Sus sesiones. Ok, así que podríamos hacerlo ahí si gusta. Ok. Uh -huh. Aquí hay una palabra, acknowledge. ¿Dónde? En, en Celebrate ah. Survey. Ajá, acknowledging. Uh -huh. Acknowledging. Uh -huh. Acknowledge, solo la palabra acknowledge, ¿verdad? Es reconocer. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Acknowledge. Acknowledge. Es un poquito similar a la palabra knowledge, ¿verdad? De, de conocimiento. Uh -huh. Pero okay. no significa lo mismo. Do you have other question, Miss? Uh -huh. The four para for uh, uh, I read. I have read the four. Number four? Oh, all, all, all four. All of the paragraphs, Miss. You have to read the whole article for your classmates, okay? Okay. O sea, verdad, van a estar en, los, en las sesiones, pero van a leerlo todo para, o sea, se van a intercalar, okay? El punto es que lo lean, vea, de la forma más eh, fluente, okay? o sea, con fluidez, vea, o de corrido, como diríamos, vea que sea posible, porque después lo van a leer para sus demás compañeros. En este caso van a haber grupos de... Ok, no, ya estamos cabales. Ok, espero nadie se una para que no haya escuchado eso. <risa> ok, let's make the groups. Uy, uy, se acaba de venir alguien. Sorry. Bueno, vamos a poner... Van a ser de dos y de tres. Va a haber un grupo de tres, así que no se preocupen. Ahí va. Just take turns and read. Ok, if you have any any question about words that you don't know how to pronounce or something, I am going to be checking the sessions. Okay, don't worry. Okay. Okay, okay there you go. You. Good luck and practice. Practice your reading. Practice your reading.
Okay, students just enter the breakout rooms. Right now they are working in pairs and they are practice their reading skill. They are reading about a, an article about how to keep employees happy in the workplace. So the objective here is that they read this and that they read it as fast or as natural as possible, right? Sometimes they read making a lot of necessary pauses when they don't know how to pronounce some words or when, when, when they don't know where they have to stop. Okay, I am going to send them a message because I forgot to tell them that they had to solve another exercise, a true and false exercise about the, the text. Don't forget to do the true and false exercise. Right below the article. Okay, I hope they do they do the they do the the, the exercise after they read the, the text. Okay, I will give them some time, but I'm going to enter some of the sessions right now. Maybe Maria Estela, because she was asking some questions about the vocabulary that the children know. Can help alleviate stress, help deny, release tension, improve brain function, and live more. What does school want those of home? The second part. Hello, do you need any help? And no, no, well, for this moment, no. Okay, Ophelia, read the okay. second part. Okay. I, I, you working in an office and your employees are sitting at company, companies, company, computer, a very bad company, computer. I don't know. Uh, un, uh, don't. Don't. Mm -hmm. I un, underestimate. I the impact yoga. Uh, Cool, however, on their attitude in Oakland, yoga can help. I David stress, I call this miss, lesson, tension, improving, improving brain function, and this, this mode was most bull, bull, Bulldogs, I was Donce, I occult comer a cele. La segunda también va. Eh, sí, solo que vamos a ver este un poquito la pronunciación, Ofelia. Okay, okay. Comencemos. Mm -hmm. Comencemos. Eh, organize yoga class. Online yoga class. Is you work in an office? You are office? If you work, you are in an office. In an office. And your employees? And your employees are sitting. Are in city at computer every day. A computer every day. Don't don't underestimate. Underestimate the impact. 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 
Yoga could have yoga could have on their attitude. Uh, on teacher attitude. Uh, ¿Cómo era la pronunciación? Attitude. 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 Yeah. Attitude en. O. 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 Ahí te le... Ah, aleviate estrés. Ahí cande mis... Calm the mind. Calm the mind. Release tension. Release tension. Improve brain function. Improve brain pression. And lift mood. I list mob. What was one? What was one? What? 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 Boss. Boss. Wall. Wall. ¿Cómo se pronuncia allí con el negativo? Wouldn't. 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 Muren, Juan, doce, o. Outcomes. O con. Yes. Okay. But, okay. Let's go with number two, okay? Estela, please. Uh, but the, the thing was that you had to read all the, the text. Okay? No ir parte por parte. Sería bueno que lo dijeran todo en solo. Eh, okay. Una persona, todo. Yes. But if you have any questions before you, you start, I'm here right uh, now. You can ask me questions. Okay. No. Oh, I, I start. Okay. Organize yoga class. If you work in an office and your employees are sitting on a computer every day, don't underestimate the impact yoga could have on their attitude mm -hmm. and outlet yoga can help alleviate, alleviate stress, calm the mind, release tension, improve brain function and lift mood. What was Goodness. Vale, voy a decir eso eh, despacio. Wouldn't. Wouldn't. Mm. wouldn't. Se puede decir, mire, wouldn't. Ok. Wouldn't. O wouldn't. wouldn't. Es que, vaya, es que wouldn't. lo que pasa es que la, la D en inglés a veces toma una, una pronunciación como en la R, ¿verdad? Entonces por wouldn't. eso que se dice wouldn't. 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 Es como si lo escribiera así, mire, que lo voy a escribir en el chat. Bueno, lo que pasa es el wu, no sé cómo ponerlo, pero lo vamos a poner así. Wouldn't. Así, mira, así se sonaría como se Wouldn't. 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 On business game to boast moral, simply uh, acknowledge, acknowledging mm -hmm. a special occasion can have a big impact. It shows your team that you care about them as people, Don't, not just as employees. Mm -hmm. Get everyone to sing a car, have cake once a month or simple by then around the coffee or coffee each time some some someone 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 
Time so one is your team has a birthday. Mm -hmm. Paintball, paintball. Give your employees an opportunity to laugh off some esteem by organize, 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 organizing, organizing a day of paintball. Simple, getting out our out our our office. Getting out Simple. of the office. Getting out of the office can work wonders for a staff model. Watch out though as the boss, you're going to be a prime target. Guess who? Ask everyone to bring a childhood, childhood photo <laughs> of themselves and put them all all up on a board and then get everyone to put their best guess. Mm -hmm. Forget forgot on each one, it's a buy of easy like the definite definite definitely 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 cal list spirit while offering plenty on of Humor, como se dice? Humor. 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 Humor along the way. Humor along the way. Okay, thank you very much. But now, uh, Ophelia is going to read it, okay? Uh, please, Maria, okay. help us help Ophelia, okay? If, yes. if she has problems. And uh, also remember that you have to solve the true and false exercise, okay? It is in the same page. Yeah. Yes. Okay, yes. so I will leave you pra keep practicing and solve the exercise. I'm going to check on other of the students. All right. Okay. Uh, thank see you, you later. Teacher. See you. Okay. And outlook. Yoga can help alleviate stress. Stress. Can the mind relax tension, improve brain function? and leave mood what past hold hold wooden wooden one wooden one toes up came up okay okay oh it's me turn uh, excuse me eh, ¿qué, ¿Qué les pasó a ustedes? ¿Por qué están aquí en la, en la sesión? Eh, aquí? ¿Qué les pasó? Mi computadora se reinició. Me ah. sacó del grupo y de ahí volví a entrar. Oh. Y cuando entré, ya estaba Raquelita aquí. Ah, sí, es que Raquel se salió para acá. Pero Raquel, a usted la, la, la asigné a otro. Fíjese, al grupo donde está María Estela y Ofelia. Pero bueno, sí, está trabajando. Aquí, no, María, no yo... Dígame. O sea, eh, no me transfirió a la otra sala. ¿A cuál? O sea, a la que usted me dice, sino que me quedé sola. No, pero sí, aquí le da la opción de, de entrar, no, no le da. Mm, es que como estoy desde el teléfono, me cuesta un poquito más. Ah, oh, ya entiendo. Bueno, uh -huh. bueno, pero no hay problema, pueden seguir trabajando las dos aquí, ¿verdad? Yo solo les digo porque como, como Mayra Bye. estaba... ¿Verdad que usted, Mayra, estaba trabajando con Raquel, no? Sí, 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 justo ah, las dos estaban. Ah, ah pues por yo. Es que se quedó solita. Sola. Y por eso uh -huh. a Raquel a otra sala, pero bueno. Ok, no problem. Sí. Y, y, do you have... y, no nos puede... y no nos puede poner en un room. Por si alguien más se desconecta, va a volver a caer en este, porque ese ah, es el principal, sí. ¿verdad? Sí, ya las pongo. En la sala dos las voy a poner a las dos, permítanme. Pero dice Raquel que no puede unirse. Bueno, intente, Raquel, usted primero, ¿ok? Y trate uh -huh. de unirse usted primero. Si no puede, pues no vaya a unirse usted, Mayra. Aquí se queda. Ok. Vale. Ahí está, okay. ya para que las dos se puedan unir a la sala 2. Sí. ¿Verdad? Ah, pues sí pudo. Ah, pues sí, Mayra. Sí pudo. Go there and okay. work. Ok.
Okay, I am still checking some students. Some of them have questions. Some of them have difficulties um, with this uh, exercise because it's a long reading and also there are a lot of no words for them, new words, right? Okay, so let's check another group. Ajá, aquí dice Cover Play Inside the Office, que si pueden jugar adentro. Inside the Office. Dentro de la oficina, no, eso es, neg eso es falso. Ajá. Ajá, porque dentro de la oficina no pueden, ¿verdad? Oh, perdón. Dice, ¿cómo Hi, se dice? Play... Hello, I'm just... In play paper inside the office. Perdón por la tardanza. Oh, false. false. Don't worry. Ay. It's raining here. It's raining there. False. It's starting it's raining here. Oh, yes. The... La chica del tiempo, no sé cómo se dice. Eh, dijo que iban a haber chubascos de lluvia. Uh, the weather girl. The weather girl. Uh -huh. Okay, continue. Sorry, sorry for the interruption. Okay. The children for us can often employees. Eso es... But I think okay. it's false. No sé qué dicen ustedes. And he says, has ever you to bring a children for us of Puedes preguntar, pero es que yes. no, no entiendo tanto ese. Do you need help with something? El. I see that you are struggling. You know what is struggling? <laughs> Teacher, what Yo, do you para mean? Mí que es, para mí es, para mí que es falso. Ellos mismos. Ah, ah, es falso sí, porque sí. supuestamente aquí está pidiendo que al parecer aquí piden una foto para poder levantar el ánimo entre ellos mismos a todos los sí. una foto de su infancia para hacerlos sentir como que son especiales supuestamente para levantarles el ánimo algo así gets everyone to put their best guesses forward on each one. It's a bit of easy. Life. Mm -hmm. Okay. And did you read it, people? Yes. Teacher. All of you read the, the text. No, read uh, each, each. Ah, you read one paragraph each. Yes. Oh, uh, no. Um, did read for a uh, for each of los placement. Lo leímos no. las cuatro las cuatro lecturas cada uno. No, okay, that, that was the, the activity. Okay, now that you are you done with the with the true and false exercise? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, we are yeah. going to go, to go back uh, in a bit to the main um, room, okay? If you want Thank you. Yeah. If you have any question right now or something, it would be a, a good opportunity. 
a good opportunity for you. But if you don't have any questions, see you later. See you later. See you later. Okay, see you later. Okay, some students already finished. I guess I will give you, I will give them two minutes more. Okay. In one minute, I am going to uh, cancel the the breakup rooms, and they are going to be back in one minute, so two minutes, right? So let's hope that they do their best. All right, all right. All right. Just let's, let's wait for them. Right now it's raining. I don't know how that is going to affect my, my audio. Maybe I should close the windows and the door. Give me a second. Okay, sorry about that. I was closing the windows and the door because the, right now it's raining and the noise may affect my, my audio, okay? So that's why I turn off the, I turn off the camera and the mic as well. I didn't want you to see that. Yes, let me move my desk. There, I'm ready. Sorry, my camera is okay. There we go. All right, let's get students back to the main session. Okay, they are going to be here in a moment, in less than one minute. They probably finish by this time, I guess. It's really weird that today is rainy. It's like it's been a lot of time since the last rain. I mean, it's really hot today. I don't know what's happening to the, to the weather. Welcome, Vanessa. 
Hi, Tell me is welcome back. Welcome, people. I hope that you finish and I hope teacher. all of you read the text. Okay. Uh, right now, here is raining. I don't know if you can hear the noise, but I hope that it doesn't affect my audio. It's raining here. Uh -huh, but I don't know if that will affect my audio. Eh, I hope that you don't mind, pero voy a hablar más fuerte. Ok, voy a hablar un poquito más fuerte porque no vaya a ser verdad que no me escuchen por, por la lluvia. Ok. ¿Verdad? Eh, ok. Eh, Okay, now we are going to talk about the true and false exercise. Porque por obvios motivos no los voy a poner a leer aquí, ¿verdad? O sea, no queremos dormirnos más de lo que, de lo que, de lo que, pues sí, ya, ya andamos. Por eso los puse a leer en los, en los break up rooms, ¿verdad? Ahí para que practicaran todo lo que pudieran la lectura. Eso sí, ahora nos podemos enfocar un poquito en las palabras nuevas, ¿verdad? en las palabras difíciles de pronunciar y pues ya vamos a ver algunas que quiero que ustedes vean queden que las pronuncien bien bien ok let's see the exercise true and false what do you have for number one yoga has an important effect on employees is that true or false true it's true. It's true right very good yoga releases tension but it doesn't calm the mind is that true false. False. Why is false? false. Because false. it calms the mind to calm the mind. Aha, uh -huh, because it does calm the mind. Huh? But cuando ustedes dicen it does calm the mind, están diciendo sí calma la mente. Ok, mm -hmm. ese does que se le agrega yes. antes al verbo significa sí. It does calm the mind. Ok. Next, based on the reading, special occasions are not important. False. False, right? They are False. indeed important. Workers can play paintball inside the office. False. Good. False. Childhood photos can offend employees. False. Good. Okay, actually this was quite easy for you students. Okay, now let me share my my uh, uh, reading the manual. Okay, I need you to watch the manual. There we go. Okay, right now I guess that you can see the manual. Okay, let's focus on the second. Oh well, in this phrase, in this word actually. Okay, we pronounce this wouldn't. Wouldn't. Okay. Wouldn't. And the question would be, what boss wouldn't want those outcomes? Vea, wouldn't. What? Es una abreviación de would not, vea, pero se pronuncia wouldn't, ¿ok? Wouldn't. Vale. Lo difícil es, vea, porque tenemos que decir una D, una N y una T juntas. ¿verdad? Eso es lo difícil. Pero la D, ¿verdad? Suena como R. Miren, Wu rent. Yeah? Bye. Okay. Also, this one. Attitude. 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 También pueden decirlo, ¿verdad? Attitude. It's okay. Attitude. Now let's go. You don't have to business. Acknowledging. 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 Good. A special occasion shows you to people and employees and sign a car, have a K. Okay. Are we clear in this test? In this text? Do you have any question about this text? Number two? Question. The second paragraph? Eh, Le voy a pedir que hablen. Algo fuerte cuando me pregunten algo por, como les digo, está viendo algo fuerte, pero sí, lo malo es que no tengo aquí mis, mis headphones, no porque sería una buena idea, pero, pero no sabía que iba a ir. 
para la próxima sí, va a ser un must have in my, in my video conference room. Ok, do you have any question about paragraph number two? Um, no. um, moral, moral, morally. Moral. 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 Yes. Business games to boost the to boost moral. I don't just have to rely on business games to boost moral. Rely on. Este es un phrase, Albert. Miren. Rely on significa confiar, ¿verdad? Yes. Rely on. Así se dice. Es un verbo eh, fracial, ¿verdad? De dos palabras. Rely on. Significa confiar. Ok. Ok. Let's go with uh, paintball. The paintball. Ok. I don't know if this is a good activity, but not for your boss. Ok. Because look at the, at the end of the, of the text. Watch out though. Ah, this one is pronounced though. 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 Yeah. Watch out, dog. Watch out, dog. Watch out. No dog, vea. Perro, no. Okay. Watch out, dog. As the boss, you're going to be a prime time. O sea, que el jefe, vea, puede ser el, el primer objetivo a todos. Okay. Give your employees the opportunity to let off some steam. Okay. Let off some steam. Creo que aquí es una expresión de de cómo se dice de o sea, a, a despejarse la mente ¿verdad? ¿verdad? A, a, sí a despejarse la mente porque literalmente ahí dice vea como suelta un poco de vapor o sea no tiene mucho sentido verdad en, en español sí by organizing uh -huh. simply simply getting out of the office then work can work wonders for a staff more. Watch out, okay. Let's go with the last one. Guess who? A childhood, born, best guesses, forward on each one, uh, it's a bit easy, uh, light, lighthearted, fun. Light Do you have any question about this part? Any question about this part, participants? Okay. This spirit. Este, okay. una pregunta fuera de, de esto. Se escucha bien. No, no, es muy, no hace ¿Sí? mucha interferencia. ¿Sí? La, no. La lluvia. Uh, no, vale. El problema creo que tengo ahorita es yo escucharlos a ustedes. Porque mi computadora pues no tiene los mejores speakers, ¿verdad? pero como les digo, voy a ver eh, en un ejercicio que los ponga a hacer, ¿verdad? me voy a ir a traer los, los headphones. ¿Okay? No lo voy a hacer ahorita porque eso me va a tomar algo de tiempo. Porque los tengo que ir a buscar. Nada, mentira, ahí los tengo a la vista. Ok. Ok, let's continue, Teacher. students. Thank you for your attention in that part. Let me... Teacher. Let me project only the PowerPoint presentation, right? Because we have other exercises that we are going to do there, right? And it is a conversation that it is on page, sorry, <clears throat> on page 35. <clears throat> This conversation is between Rita and Luis, okay? And They are talking by phone. So, when you practice this conversation, I want you to use your cell phone, okay? O si tienen, verdad, unos headphones ahí que tengan el, el, el mic like this, pueden usarlos. Algunos a veces los he visto con ellos. Bueno, por ejemplo, los que tienen audífonos, verdad, fácilmente pueden hacerle aquí, vea, con este microfonito, no hay problema. Así como si fueran tiktokers, verdad. Ok, let's go. Let's practice this conversation. Va, Raquel veo que tiene uno de esos y creo que Flor también, ¿verdad? Se los cubre el cabello, creo. Sí, a ver si. Ahí va, va. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Raquel. Hola, Ra
Uh, Flor, you are going to be uh, Rita and Raquel, you are going to be Luis. Uh-huh. Go. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confer some information. Hey, Rita. Sure. Tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is the talk taking, taking pla please, place taking place? Well, them. It. it, it is is uh, attending conferences. The conference is taking place in the green room. Read that. By the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it. Yes, they are. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, thank you very much. I will need two more participants. In this case, it's going to be Mr. Sanchez and Carla Vasquez. Okay, you two are using are using earphones, right? Please, when you speak, do this with your mic. Okay. Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita, the new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey, Rita. Sure, tell me. <coughs> Pero, <clears throat> I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where it is taking place. Well, the ET staff is attending and the conference is taking place in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the material arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. Okay. Salt. Finish? Yeah. Ok, miren, pues ven, no les escucho muy bien, la verdad. But, ok, next is Vanessa and Delmis, ok. If you have your cell phones close to you, please use your cell phone to pretend that you are in a phone call. Thank you very much. Ok. Um, Luis, good afternoon. This is Rita. The new secretary. I just want to confirm some information. Hey Rita, sure tell me. I want to know who are attending the annual conference this year and where is it taking place? Well, the ET staff is attending and the conference is taking place in a great in the great room. Rita, by the way, when are the materials arriving? Do you know? Got it, yes. They are arriving on Friday morning. We okay, finished. Thank you very much. Now, as you can see, I highlighted two, two expressions in the conversation. The first one is IT staff. Mm -hmm. Do you know what is IT? Technical. Yes. Sorry? Inf como informatica. Uh, information. Technical. Technology, right? Thank you very much. Okay. And do you know what is, by the way, by the way is an expression. Okay. Para los que no lo sepan, vea, by the way, es el equivalente de decir en español, vea, a propósito, ¿verdad? By the way, ¿ok? Se utiliza ¿ve? al principio cuando ustedes quieren mencionar algo, ¿verdad? Eh, así, cuando quieren mencionar algo, ¿verdad? Dicen, by the way, y dicen, bla, bla, bla. 
por ejemplo, imagínense, yo comienzo la conferencia, ¿verdad? yo no, yo no me, yo no me identifiqué, ¿verdad?, a ustedes. Entonces, yo de repente la digo, by the way, my name is Moisés Ramírez. I am your, your teacher and blah, 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 blah. ¿Ok? Bye. Now, let's go with some questions about this conversation. I need you to answer these questions. In the meantime, I'm going to go and get my speakers because I'm having problems eh, listening to your voices. ¿Ok? Así que ya vuelvo. Voy a ir a traer, vean, los speakers. Déjenme, me dejo. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, very good. Okay, let's see what do you have for your uh, answers, okay? What about number one, Mr. Sanchez? It's a Friday. Can we see the conversation again, please? Hello, Mr. Sanchez. When are the market? Okay, I don't know, maybe he's having problem with his audio. Um, Flor, number one. Flor de Maria. No los he completado, teacher. Aún. Okay. On Friday morning, number one. Number one on front on Friday morning. Okay. Very good. What about number two? Uh, Mayra? The question or the answer? Sorry. The the question. I I need to see Who? what do you okay. have. Okay. Who is attending the conference? Ok, puede hablar de nuevo, yo creo que no escucho el audio en mis, en mis headphones. Ok, who is attending the conference? Sí, no escucho ahí. Bueno. Who is attending the conference? Thank you very the much. Conference. What okay. about number three? Eh, Carla? Carla? 
Where is the meeting taking place? Okay, just give me a second. Este, ¿Puede alguien hablar, por favor? Necesito comprobar si escucho por acá y no por... Hola, teacher. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey, teacher. Hi. Are you there? Ah, oh, bueno. Do you listen? La papa, la papa, la papa, la papa. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ah, ok, vuelvan a hacerlo. Hi, hello teacher. Hello teacher. Hello. hello. Hi teacher. Dar buena papa. <laughs> okay, can you can you papa, 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 papa. Hello teacher. Bueno, en este caso me lo voy a quitar porque son bien incómodos, la verdad, me apretan mucho las orejas. <laughs> Ok, bueno, les voy a pedir que hablen fuerte cuando los ponga a decir algo porque, bueno, la verdad es que está calmando la lluvia. Ok, ok, let's move on. Now let's ask these questions. Please, eh, Nelson, ask the first question to someone. When, ask the first question to someone else. When are the material arriving? Ajá, ¿para quién va esa pregunta? Oh, eh, María Estela. Ajá, María Estela. No, here. Mm. They, are, they are arriving on Friday morning. Okay, very good. Now, Maria Estela, please ask the second question to someone. Um, Maria Estela. Darwin. Ay, ahora está muy fuerte. Ya logré ponerlo. <laughs> Darwin. Hello. Uh -huh. Who is attending the conference? Eh, de IT staff. Mm -hmm. Ok, very good, mister. Now ask the, the third question to someone else. Eh, Vanessa, where is the meeting taking place? Uh, okay, um, the conference is taking place in the great room. Okay, excellent job. Now, people, uh, we are going to make a parenthesis for the attendance, the second attendance. So please pay attention when I call your name. Ahorita los escucho fuerte, claro. Uh, Darwin. Present. Delmis. Present. Doing. Fátima Rosario, Fidel Coreas, present, Lord María, present, Irving, Josué Adán, Juan Ernesto, Karina Beatriz, Carla Verónica Vázquez, present, thank you, Carla, sorry, sorry, Ajá, María Estela, present, María Vanessa. Present. Mayra. Present. Nelson Alfredo. Present. Nelson Edgardo. Present. Ofelia. 
Raquel. Present. Tatiana. Here, and, teacher. And Walter, ok. Raquel, are you there? Present. Ok, thank you. Okay, Present. Very good. very good, very good. Ok, let's continue. Okay, right now you are only seeing my, my PowerPoint presentation, right? Okay, now people, as you know, today we are talking about questions, okay? The WH words, okay? So what do you know about these WH words? Uh huh? When you answer, you have to give more information. Yes, they ask for a specific information. For example, mm -hmm. when I use the WH word when, why, what information I want? Mm -hmm. Anyone can answer me that question? Okay, tenemos aquí, miren, what, when, where, why, which, who, and how. Okay. ¿Para qué utilizamos? ¿verdad? Le estoy preguntando para qué utilizamos when. O sea, ¿qué quiero yo saber cuando pregunto, por ejemplo, eh, if I ask, when is your birthday? When is the meeting? When are your vacations? What am I asking? Cuando. Date. Ajá, date. So, ok. Eh, por favor, ahí el micrófono de alguien está activo. Time. Uh, time, ok. The right, uh, the specific thing is time, ok. When we use it for time or date, right? When I ask about when, ok. When is your birthday? You are going to tell me the date of your birthday, right? When I ask for a meeting, let's say for the time, okay? When uh, is the meeting starting? You are going to tell me about the specific time. It can be nine o'clock, nine, nine thirty, or something like that. For example, what about what? ¿Cuándo utilizamos what? Para preguntar sobre qué. Mm -hmm. Is it working? For an action. Uh huh. It can be an action. Okay. What is used for asking about people, objects, ideas, right? Or as uh, Vanessa was saying, actions can be, okay. So, o sea, es como más específico el what that. Por ejemplo, miren, what is your name? That? Ahí les estoy preguntando for your name, okay. For example, what's your cell phone number? I'm asking for your cell phone, all right? Number. Okay, and what about where? ¿Alguien me ayuda con where? ¿Para qué utilizamos where? Place. Place. place, right? Place, easy. And what about why? Mm -hmm. For a reason. Uh -huh. We use it for reason, okay? For reasons. And what about which? I escuchado this, the which? Uh, reference. Sorry? Reference. Yes, it could be. Or options, right? For example, when you ask, which one do you prefer? Like, uh, and for objects, okay? And what about who? When do we use who?
Can someone help me? Someone. Person. Person. Yes, is for a person, right? Who is your boss? Who is your mother? Who is your favorite person in the planet? And blah, blah, blah. Okay, what about how? How do we use how? Ok, how the, se utiliza para manner, ok, manner or form, o sea, la forma en la que se hace algo, ¿sí? Bueno, vamos a ver algunos ejemplos, ok, here we have some examples, eh, están viendo verdad el, el manual, verdad, que estoy proyectando ahorita, yes? Yes. Ok, good. Ok, now we have an example with why, ok, number one, why? Why is he meeting the new people today? Okay, why? He's, this person is asking for a reason. The reason for meeting the new people. Okay? Y siempre que vamos a responder una pregunta que, la han, que han utilizado la palabra WH, why, siempre vamos a, a responderla con because. Because es la más común, hay otras, ¿verdad? pero vamos a enfocarnos solo en because. Okay. Bye. Y se pronuncia because. Algunos lo pronuncian. Okay. Why is your boss having the annual meeting? Where? And you are going to talk about the place. You are going to say the place. For example, in in a, in I don't know in the in the tropical ink, right? Or in I don't know in her office. Or something like that, whatever, right? Okay, I don't know if you have any question about these WH words. Bueno, ya dejo de llover, así que I'm going to stop using these things. Uh -huh. Do you have any question? Students? Okay, if you don't have any question, let's continue. Okay, let's see how you answer these, these uh, sentences, okay? This is also in your book. Please work individually. If you have any question, you can ask. Okay, lo que van a hacer ahí, ¿verdad? Es utilizar el sujeto y el verbo en paréntesis y van a hacer preguntas, pero utilizando el presente continuo. ¿Verdad? Miren el ejemplo. What company, tenemos entre paréntesis, you work Ok, ¿Ya? entonces, what company are you working for? ¿Verdad? Si tienen dudas, me pueden preguntar. Ok, I will give you some, some, one minute, ok, to do it. One minute to do it. Eh, si gustan, pueden ver el manual, ¿verdad? Porque lo voy a dejar de proyectar en este momento, porque si no, ¿verdad? No puedo verlos a ustedes. Computadora, no sé, cuando estoy visualizando un PDF me abre como una pestaña totalmente diferente y la verdad eso es un poco molesto. Let me check if I'm recording. Yes. Ok, please solve the exercises. If you have any question, you can ask me. Did you finish?
Do you have any question? Did you finish? All right, let's check for some answers. All right, uh, can, can someone please tell me the answer for number two? Any volunteer? Uh, yes. Yes, he. Yes. Dividend? The group dividing, dividing, the group. dividing the groups. Thank you very much, Maria Estela. What about number three? Any volunteer? Number three, please. Dividing. Number three, please. When uh -huh. is she handing the check? Excellent, Mr. Mr. Amai, uh, Ayala. Uh, what about number four? Which factory are your boss visiting this month? Which factory? Are your boss visiting this month? Mm, it would be East. Yeah. Which is factory is uh, your yes. boss visiting yes. this month? Okay, thank you very much. And the last one. Yes. The last one. Number five. Number five, please. White. Uh -huh. Is the new secretary working in next Saturday? Okay, thank you very much. Now, people, in the next exercise, number five, we have um, uh, where you are going to write some uh, questions, okay? Primero, verdad, que nada, verdad, miren la indicación ahora. Think of some future events of your classmates, okay? Uh, por ejemplo, elijan, verdad, algún compañero que ustedes vean por aquí, verdad? Piensen en las cosas que esa persona puede hacer, okay? Y van a escribir preguntas utilizando las palabras WH. El objetivo, ¿verdad? Es que las utilicen todas, ¿ok? Así que le van a hacer preguntas a sus compañeros como las que están arriba. Por ejemplo, ¿verdad? Eh, what company are you working for, ¿verdad? Or eh, when, when is the, the training, for example... When are you having a training? ¿verdad? El chiste es que utilicemos las palabras WH, pero al mismo tiempo tenemos que utilizar ¿verdad? el present continuous. Eh, no lo había explicado, pero como podrán ver, ¿verdad? aquí está la fórmula arriba. ¿verdad? Miren, tenemos la palabra WH primero. Tenemos el verbo be, ¿verdad? el sujeto, el, ver de... el verbo más ING, el complemento y el question mark. ¿verdad? Sorry, alguien me hablaba ahí. Yes, we don't see the... Ah, sí, es cierto. Perdón, perdón. Ok, sorry. Bye. Les decía, ¿verdad? Que acá arriba tienen la fórmula, ¿verdad? Para hacer preguntas con las palabras WH y el, el present continuous, ¿ok? Miren, WH words plus verb B plus subject plus verb in, in ing plus complement plus question mark the question mark is really important don't forget writing down the question mark. okay and here are some examples right pueden basarse en estos ejemplos para realizarlas y las van a escribir verdad en ese chart que tienen en, in part number five okay primero piensen ¿verdad? en los eventos que puede tener alguno de sus compañeros y hagan las preguntas utilizando palabras wh y utilizando el presente continuo okay Después vea, vamos a, a preguntárselas algunos y vamos a take notes, ¿ok? We are going to take notes about some answers, ¿ok?
If you have any question, no se ha entendido de lo que he dicho, pueden preguntarme. No problem. Do you have any question? Any question? Yo sí no le escuché nada, teacher, porque me acabo de volver a conectar porque tuve problemas de conexión. Ah, ok, mister. Va. En, en la parte, permítame. Va. En la parte, en la página, page, page number, let me check. Page 36, ok. Tenemos un ejercicio de complementar, vea, utilizando el presente continuo para hacer preguntas con las palabras WH. Eso lo acabamos de hacer. Vale. Pero en el siguiente ejercicio, que okay, hay un cuadrito, vamos a utilizar, vamos a hacer preguntas nosotros, vamos a redactarlas, okay, utilizando las palabras WH y utilizando el presente continuo como en el, en el ejemplo anterior, sobre eventos de sus compañeros. Okay, piensen en algún evento que puede pasar en el futuro de sus compañeros, obviamente en in the workplace, y las escriben ahí. Después las vamos a preguntar y vamos a take notes. Okay, about the answers of your classmates. Clear, mister? Yes, okay. Yes, teacher. Very good. Mm. Try to use all the WH words, okay? No las repitamos. If you have one with what, uh, for example, it could be what, uh, pero tendríamos que, what are they talking about in the meeting? Podría ser una. Yeah? Con what. Okay, are we done?
Okay. Va. Okay, let me explain you what we are going to do now. Bueno, pero necesito saber cómo van, ¿verdad? Si al menos tienen unas cuatro ya. Sí. Yes. Levanten las manos quien tiene más de cuatro o ya finalizó. Please. Ahí ya tienen el iconito. Si no la levantan así como que no termina. Bueno, ok, les voy a dar un poquito más de tiempo. Yes. Okay, you finish, Raquel. Thank you. Okay, we are going to continue, people, because of the time. Let's see. Um, but the thing is that you are going to go to the to work in pairs. Okay, you are going to work in pairs, and you are going to interrogate a classmate. Okay, and you are going to write down about his or her answers. Okay, for example, let's see. What do you have for question number one, Mayra? My question number one is, what are you learning English? What are you learning English? What or why? What? Okay. Mm. Mm. Bueno, tendría más sentido si utilizamos why, ¿verdad? Porque si decimos what es como, ¿qué estás aprendiendo inglés? Yeah. O podría ser, what are you learning English for? Ah, I see. Pero, what are you learning English for? Eh, también, ese, es, eh, espérame, ¿por qué estás aprendiendo? Es que casi es lo mismo como de preguntar por qué, ¿verdad? Porque está preguntando por una razón, porque si se fija, de las dos formas que me las ha dicho, ambas tendría que responderlas con because, ¿verdad? Así que, why okay. sería mejor? Va, ok, esa es su, su pregunta, ¿verdad? Va. Sí. Ok, now, um, vale, supongamos que es una respuesta. Ok, because English is important for my professional development. Ok, entonces usted va a tomar notas ahí y va a poner, ¿verdad? For professional development, ¿verdad? Así va a ser con todos los demás, ¿verdad? Si tienen alguna duda con respecto a sus preguntas, Ok, si las tienen bien redactadas, ¿verdad? Ahorita me pueden preguntar. Ok, o si no, ¿verdad? Las pueden mandar ahí al grupo de WhatsApp, ¿verdad? Voy a revisarlas ahí en el momento en el que ustedes estén trabajando. Eso sí, van a trabajar en los breakup rooms, pero también van a hacer otra cosa en los breakup rooms. And the other activity is, permítanme proyectarles, por favor. Ok, the other activity is this. 
The activity number six, role play a conversation between a manager and an assistant discussing details of a scheduled event for next week. Okay. Cuando dice aquí role play, ¿verdad? Esto es un verbo, ¿ok? Les está diciendo a usted, haz un juego de roles sobre una conversación entre un eh, manager, ¿verdad? O sea, un gerente y un asistente discutiendo detalles sobre un evento agendado para la siguiente semana. O sea, ustedes van a utilizar las WH, ¿verdad? Y van a utilizar también el presente continuo para preguntar sobre ese evento. Por ejemplo, pueden preguntar, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde se va a desarrollar el lugar, la hora, verdad? ¿Por qué? ¿Qué se va a ver en ese lugar? Y cosas así, ¿ok? Pero el punto, ¿verdad? Es que yo quiero que traten de hacerlo de una forma como espontánea. Traten de hacerlo, traten de hacerlo. Si no pueden, ¿verdad? Pues pónganse ahí a anotar algunas algunas cosas, ¿verdad? Para que no se les dificulte. Pero el objetivo es tratar de hacerlo, ¿verdad? Sin escribir, como les había mencionado en la clase pasada, ¿verdad? Para irnos quitando poco a poco, ¿verdad? Eso de, de redactar conversaciones y después solo leerlas, ¿verdad? Bye. Ok. Do you have any questions before we go to the breakout rooms? No. Recuerden, van a ser dos actividades. Una, interrogar a su compañero y tomar notas de sus respuestas. Y dos, ¿verdad? Eh, la, la, el roleplay, ¿ok? El roleplay que está ahí descrito en el manual. ¿Ok? Teacher. Eh, yes. Eh, me gustaría saber si están buenas las preguntas primero. Claro, claro. Me, eh, por eso les dije que me las podían mandar al WhatsApp. Ok. ¿verdad? Ahí um, les, voy a, les voy a responder, ¿verdad? Con gusto, no hay problema. Ok. Y si no, si necesito darles una explicación, me voy a meter, ¿verdad? Directamente a su a su a su a su sala ¿eh? no hay problema también. okay okay good But, okay let me create the the rooms here yes the the answer is not necessary a, a, a apply apply a, a present continuous uh, only ask where uh, no it's not necessary for example if you see yo no le respondí a Mayra con con presente continuo verdad no le dije bueno, la verdad sí. <ríe> A veces en ese caso sí, viste. Pero también pueden ¿verdad? irse de un solo al grano, no hay problema. Ok, thank you. También pueden hacer, no hay problema. Ok, let's make the groups. Just let me do it real quick. Ok. Work and try to improvise the conversation, ok. I will see you in a moment, ok. Okay, go to your rooms. Okay, right now students are going back to the breakout rooms. In this case, they are going to do an interview with the previous sentences that they have. Okay, I told them to send the, the questions to the WhatsApp group to see or to check if they are correct. If you want me to check your questions, send them here. Okay.
Okay, I don't want to enter the rooms right now because previously I had another breakout room session, but if I do it right now, maybe it will eh, o sea, va a quitarle verdad minutos a mi, a mi, a mi grabación y pues eso, eso al final pues termina perjudicándome un poquito. So in the meantime, I'm going to explain about the WH words, okay? So let's start with WH words. As you know, these words are used for making questions and to ask for a specific, sorry, information. For example, if you, if you use the word when in your question, you are asking about the time. If you use the word why, you are asking about a reason. And if you use the word where, you are asking about the place, right? For example, where do you live? Where is the meeting? Where are we doing our homework? Where can I have more information? And so on, okay? Uh, also, when we have how, how, how is used for asking for manner or form that something is done, okay? Um, I'm missing some words. What? What is other WH word? And this WH word is used for asking about an object or idea, okay? For example, if you ask, um, what's your name, right? You are asking about the name, right? That that would be that wouldn't be an object, but an idea, right? Uh, also, uh, you can ask about. Um, what's today's topic right and we have i'm missing another wh word but i i can remember right now uh which which one and who okay the the previous one uh which we use it for objects only all right or for options sometimes and who we use it for person Right, we use it when we want to talk about a person, for example, who is your mother, uh, who is in charge of uh, marketing, the marketing campaign. All right, um, in this case, we are using WH words with a uh, person continues to ask about future events, all right, for future arrangements or plan. And we can use one WH word in this case, like. Uh, for example, where is the meeting taking place, right? Or how is this affecting us, right? Or what are some of the topics uh, being discussed in the, um, in the meeting? When is the meeting starting? Right, and as you can see, I'm using WH words, and I also, I'm you, I'm, I'm also using the present continuous. All right. And if you have any questions, you can leave it in the comments down below. And uh, students right now are still working. Okay, I will give them another five minutes because they are going. They are doing two activities, okay? The first one is the interview, and the second one is they are going to role play uh, um, a situation between a manager and an assistant where they discussed, uh, they discussed details about, um, about, how do you call it? Uh, an event, okay? An event that is going to be taking place the next week, all right? That's what they are doing right now. They are doing two activities in one session. Okay, I just finished my coffee. 
I needed it. It's really late right now. It's almost 10 p.m. And I have been talking for like, I don't know, a lot of time. Well, the students also talk, but I talk the most because giving indications takes a lot of time to do so. Let me check if I don't have any, any comments in the group. Okay, maybe they have a question or something. No, they don't. I am going to send them a, a message here to the group sessions. Okay, Ophelia is alone. I'm going to see if I work with her, but first let me send them a message. Okay, let me see, what was the message? Okay, if you want me to check your questions, uh, send them to the the WhatsApp group or ask me to join your group. Okay, let's hope that they that they ask me to join the group. If they do, I am going to join, but I do want to join first because I'm, I am going to interrupt them and two, I need them to me to be more independent. Okay, I don't want them to depend a lot on me. Like teach me, teacher, how do I do this? Do I do that? Right? They have to be more independent about this. Uh, actually, in the manuals, at the end of the manuals, after each topic, there is a self-assessment about how they are doing if they can do things alone if they need some help or if they can do things alone they need all my my help right Let's hope that they are doing okay. Right now it is nine and 50 minutes. Okay, let me. Let me check some of the groups. No way on my calendar. It start on twenty seven. Uh huh. Twenty seven, and it finished at four, three, five. <laughs> Of the whole week. Yeah, week. Okay. Mm -hmm. Next. Okay. What do you what do you what do you work? In the week. In the weekend. In the weekend, yeah. Mm, I work only Saturday. But not always. It's sometimes 
when we haven't finished the activities of accounting, Accountant. Uh -huh. Good. Okay. Um, where do you do you go in vacation? Okay, people, let me interrupt you right there. Okay, mm -hmm. are we using the present continuous? It would be if they remember that questions must include the WH words and also they must include the present continuous because that mm -hmm. is the structure that we are going to focus more attention on. For example, mm -hmm. the question, sorry, what was the question, Mr. Sanchez? Where do you go in vacation? Where do you go? Where are vacation? you going? Where are you going vacation. on vacation? That would be a better option. Mm -hmm. Okay, no les estoy diciendo de verdad que la otra está incorrecta, o sea, está correcta. Ok, pero lo que yo necesito es que utilicemos un poquito el presente continuo para future plans or arrangements, ¿verdad? Ok. Ajá. Ok. Continue. I am traveling. Bueno, I visit my family in the countryside. I going to El Pais now. And because my grandma lived there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I usually go to the beach. I'm going to the beach. And that's it. Thank you, Yes. Very mm -hmm. tired. A little bit. Mm -hmm. I think I'm okay. mm -hmm. Before, which the topic did your uh, meeting with your boss? I am having a meeting with my boss every Monday morning. Okay, uh, one question. Is this the role play or is this the, the, um, the interview? The interview. Ah, you're doing the interview. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, the thing is that we only have five mm -hmm. minutes. Mm -hmm. I think I'm going to call all of you to the, to the main room. Maybe we are going to focus only on the interview because it's like two, two big activities for one for one for one session in the breakout rooms. Okay, continue yes. working. You are going, we are going to be back in the main rooms in a little bit. See you later. Okay, okay. see you later. Okay, I was checking on some students and they haven't done the role play yet. They were focusing on the interview. Maybe it, it took them more time than I expected. So I am going to get them back to the main room because it's almost, we only have five minutes and the time, you know, is consuming a video conference, but I will give them only one more minute to finish what they are doing. I'm trying some feature of Zoom, but I'm going to get them back to the main room right now.
Okay, they are going to be back here in a minute. Okay, welcome back. We are waiting for your classmates. Were you sleeping, Mr. Sanchez? <laughs> no, teacher. No. Here. Okay, good. I didn't see you. Almost asleep. <laughs> it's almost time, people. We only have two minutes, two more minutes, and we go. You can go rest. I know it's been a rough day, right? And we're working and then coming here to be in front of your computer for two hours is, I know it's hard, but trust me, it will pay off. It will pay off significa que va a valer la pena. Mira, cuando al final ya sean bilingües, ahí vea, you are going to see all the effort that you have done. Okay, let's hear some participations, okay? And then we, I'm going to take the final attendance and after that you may go. Okay, let's see. Darwin, who did you interview, Mr. Ayala? Uh, my partner is Fidel. Fidel, okay. What questions did you ask Fidel? Uh, for example, Fidel, where do you work? Mm -hmm. uh, I work. What is what is the question? Where do you, you work? Where I work in BFA. Okay, people. Just let me interrupt you for a moment. Okay, bye. Uh, the objective, okay, okay, you are using a WH word, that's good, but Mr. Ayala, you are not using that present continuous for future events or arrangements, all right? So the question would be, uh, where are you working, for example, tomorrow or, 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 this, or, or this year or something like that, right? O sea, preguntando por algo en futuro, ¿verdad? Y utilizando el present continuous. Vea, esa es una observación porque anduve ahí, ¿verdad? Por algunos grupitos y, y también, vea, tenían la misma, el mismo, o sea, no es que esté mala la pregunta, ¿ok? La pregunta, eh, where do you work, está bien. Pero yo lo que quiero es que pregunten sobre eventos futuros, ¿verdad? No sobre el presente, porque ahí sería el simple present, ¿verdad? No sé si me entienden. Yes. 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 Bueno, ok, para que quede claro, ¿verdad? Nada más. Este, vamos a escuchar una participación más y ya después nos retiramos. Eh, Raquel, va, y también, ¿verdad? Me fijo de que están un poquito condicionados, ¿verdad? Que, a que cuando les pregunto, que, o sea, yo ahorita les estoy preguntando qué reporten, reporten sus notas, ¿verdad? No que le estén preguntando cosas a otra persona, ¿verdad? Así que, por ejemplo, Raquel, who do you work with? Okay. Um, eh, con Estela. Okay. Tell me about the questions that you asked Estela in some of the notes that you wrote. Okay. Um, the first question, who are you checking your work? Um, answer. She is a boss. Mm -hmm. um, um, anything. <laughs> they check uh, the work. Okay, continue with other with the other questions and the other answers that you have. Okay. Uh, which are you um, writing at work? Mm -hmm. 
Um, and what she, was the answer? Mm -hmm. uh, she go eat uh, como al lapa. Mm -hmm. Probably. Um, the, um, three questions. Mm -hmm. Where are you ta uh, taking to lunch? Um, answer, she taking at noon. Okay. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. That's it. Um, uh, uh, teacher. Yes. My question, um, uh, Raquel. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, what are you doing on Sunday in the afternoon? Uh -huh. And what, what did she answer? What was her answer? Uh, she said um, she, she practiced. She practiced. Uh, driving class in the afternoon, oh. Sunday. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where are you visiting your grandparents? When or where? When. All oh, right. When are you visiting your parents? Grandparents. Mm -hmm. uh, she say she visits every day in the afternoon. Okay, thank you very much, uh, Maria Estela and Raquel. Now we are going to leave it there. Remember that you have to do a, a role play as well, but because of the time, we are not going to do it today, maybe tomorrow. Okay, así que no se me Alicia se para mañana. Okay, thank you. Now, the final attendance, people, uh, is, going, is going to be quick. Uh, Darwin, okay. tell me, doing. Present. Fatima Rosario, Fidel Coreas. Present. Eh, Irving, Josué Adán, Juan Ernesto, Karina Beatriz, Carla Verónica. Eh, Present. Estela, María Vanessa, Mayra. Present. Nelson Alfredo, Nelson Edgardo, eh, Ofelia. Present. Here, teacher. Raquel. Tatiana, Present. And Walter. But, but este, teacher. Yes. Present. No me mencionó. Ah, ok, Flor. Sorry. Ya está, Flor. But, le voy a pedir un favor de ahora en adelante cuando tome asistencia. Le voy a pedir que digan su, su primer nombre, ¿verdad? Y, y digan present o algo, ¿verdad? Porque como, como abro el... el el navegador de Google, este, no puedo ver sus rostros, ¿verdad? no sé quién me responde a veces, ¿verdad? como voy, voy rápido, para, pues sí, para agilizar un poquito, ¿verdad? para que no nos tome mucho tiempo. Ok, eh, okay. el día de hoy, ¿verdad? me toca con un estudiante que no sería con Dewey, ok, pero si él no sabe y alguien quiere tomar la oportunidad, pues puede quedarse, si no, pues, eh, have a good after, eh, night and see you tomorrow. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye, teacher. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Okay. So that was today's session. Let's start with the private session. In this case, the student that was supposed to be in this uh, um, in this uh, private session is not here. Actually, he hasn't been present in, let me see. Okay, actually, according to my attendance, he was only present in the first two sessions, which is weird, but well, he hasn't been present in any of the other sessions. So for that reason, uh, well, I'm going to do this alone. Also, I asked students if they could, if they want to take the opportunity, but 
neither of them took the opportunity, maybe because they are tired, actually. Uh, all of them seem really tired today, even me, <laughs> but I tried, I tried to do my best. Now, let's see, what are we going to talk about in this private session? So you can, so you do not, do not see me just sitting here doing nothing. But first, let me drink some water. I need some water. Okay, what we are going to do in this private session is that I am going to ask you, okay, you, the one who is watching this video, some random questions, okay? Random questions using WH words and also using the present continuous for future plans. For example, let's start with the first question. Tell me, when are you visiting your grandfather? I will give you some seconds for you to answer these questions and let's see how you do it, okay? When are you visiting your grandparents? Think about it. You have to answer, I am visiting my grandparents and you have to use a, a time expression there. For example, next month, next week, or on a specific date, for example, on March uh, 23rd, on Tuesday, on Monday, on Monday morning, Saturday night, whatever, all right? Now, let's go with other question. Where, um, where is your training going to be? Where is your training going to be? Thank you, okay? I don't know why you answer, but nice. All right, let's go with other one. Who is leading the new marketing campaign? Who is leading the new marketing campaign? Now let's go with a question that is not focused on in job or in in the workplace, let's go for example. What are you doing tomorrow in the afternoon? What are you doing tomorrow in the afternoon? Okay, another question that doesn't have to do with with uh, with your with your with your job. Okay, why are you watching? TV at night. Why are you watching TV at night? Okay, now let's go back to questions about the work, please. Uh, I wanna know, um, which presentation are we using for today's video conference? Which video conference are we using for today's video conference? Uh, how are you going to handle the um, the new problem with product with the production line or how are you handling the new problem with the uh, production line okay uh, let's see okay um, 
it's yeah, I, I am asking some random questions, so I have to think about what to ask. And as if it has to be focused to your job, is it like I have to think? So give me a break. Uh, let's see, WH word. Let's use one. Uh, let's use where, okay. Where is um, where is the secretary putting the new files? Where is the secretary putting the new files? Uh, when are the new the new no where where or when when is the new boss coming to introduce himself? Why are we having lunch in our offices? What are we drinking after lunch? Uh, why aren't you mm, drinking coffee today? How's everyone doing with the new schedules? Mm. Uh, okay, remember that you have to answer these questions. Right now, I am not giving you much time to, to answer, but remember that this is a video recording, so you can pause it. I can ask a question and you can pause it. Pause it and answer the question and then go back to the video. In this case, this video, right? Um, what else can I ask you? Well, actually, I think that's enough. Uh, I'm just going to see if there is something else that you want to know. For example, uh, remember that you can always leave a comment uh, in the comment section. Okay, let me see. I think I have some problems with my internet because everything seems to be really slow. Okay, I don't know what's happening. Maybe I have some problems, but I will fix them in a bit. Let me check my cable, my LAN cable. My internet is working, yes. Let me check my computer. Maybe I have opened a lot of programs. Let me close them all. Yes, no, I don't need you right now. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, I was checking a message from from one student. He has one question. 
Okay, thank you for watching. And this was the private session. Remember that I didn't have a student, so I tried to, to explain, well, to practice like an interview with, with you, the viewer. Okay, it could be a student or maybe a supervisor, but thank you for watching and see you tomorrow for another session. Uh, good night.